What's up YouTube? Caesar Media here. Today I'm driving around in a 2000 Subaru Impreza 2.5 RS. Now, as you have probably already heard, this car has been boosted. And by boosted, I mean it's been swapped with a JDM EJ207 WRX motor because here in the United States, as many of you know, we do not get the Subaru Impreza 2.5 RS's turbocharged. Unfortunately, Subaru didn't export the WRX's until the 2002. So only way for Americans to get a hold of boosted 2.5 RS is to one, import it yourself from Japan or Europe or wherever that's legal. Or two, you swap out a WRX or WRX STI motor and put it in this little car. This particular Impreza has been swapped out with the EJ207 motor. As you can probably tell by the numbers 2 and 0, oh, it's a 2 liter motor. And because it's a 2 liter, it revs up a little higher. And this is the same motor that was available in STIs around the world except for here in North America. This Impreza, of course, has been swapped, which is a significant mod by itself. But other than the EJ207 swap, they aren't that many any mods down to this car, just simple bolt-ons, suspension, sway bars, the HKS blow valve and exhaust. And speaking of blow valve, you can really hear this thing. Let me build up boost here. This Impreza has the loud HKS blow valve so that you can do right through flybys on the highway and you can let the other drivers know that this is not just your average 2.5 RS because it's been boosted and swapped and it's fast. This car feels fast simply because of the fact that it weighs about 2700 pounds which is about five to 700 pounds lighter than current generation Subaru WRXs and WRX SDIs. And as all of you know already, I'm all about that power to weight ratio. Same thing with the K20 swap, the EK hatch review I did a few months ago. If you lose weight in the car, you don't need crazy amount of horsepower to have fun. Uh, old man for saying this but every time I see the first gen Subaru Impreza's it reminds me of the WRC era back when Subaru used to race in the World Rally Championships you got the uh, five cylinder Audis in Group B racing that's the generation and the age that it reminds me of if I was a Subaru guy I would definitely pick up a 90s 2.5 RS, probably a coupe, and put in an EJ25, make about, I don't know, 450 horsepower at the wheels, which is gonna be plenty of power to have fun in. Interior of the car, as you can probably imagine, is nothing impressive. At the end of the day, it's a Subaru from the year 2000. There is no luxury about this car, and but and that's not what people buy these cars for, right? You buy it for its performance, for its looks, because it's so agile around the corners, and that's exactly what this car is made to do. Like any other Subaru out there, it's all-wheel drive, it's four doors, and you can totally daily this car all year round, and that's what exactly the owner of this car does. The car sounds awesome, of course, because it's a Subaru and it's got the boxer rumble. The profile might be a little too loud for my taste but that's okay it's not my car I'm not gonna complain about it that's it for today guys I hope you enjoyed my review on this very special EJ207 2.5 RS it's very unfortunate that these cars didn't make it to the United States boosted like it does everywhere else in the world but uh, I very much enjoy this car and I think it will be a great daily as well as your weekend track car. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you don't, hit the dislike button. Please let me know why. 
for some reason I keep reviewing these Subarus and there's no issue with that. I guess as an Evo owner I tend to make a lot of friends who are Subaru owners. But if you have a cool car that you wanted me to review here in Detroit area, please hit me up. I fill up the car at the end of the video and you get to hang out with Caesar Media. I hope you enjoyed the video guys and I will see you in my next car review. Drive safe out there guys. See you.